In this video, I'm going to talk about an important dashboard within the Center of Excellence Starter Kit called as Production Dashboard. Now, I have already configured the dashboard, Center of Excellence Production Dashboard in my environment, and that's why you're able to see this report. Now, this is hosted in a Power BI service, and it contains in the home page, like uh, there are some uh, tiles which you can see. Uh, one is with regards to monitor, then govern and nurture. Monitor component basically is a set of inventory uh, listing of your environments, apps, flows, makers, connectors, and other infrastructure across your entire tenant. These reports support drill down, trending, filtering by maker, by country, by connector usage, by premium feature usage, so on and so forth. Govern apps are mainly used to conduct risk assessment based on viral sharing, connectors or operational usage, identifying the complex flows, orphan flows, unused resources. Uh, we can also take an action within an uh, embedded app uh, <clears throat> to reclaim the ownership. Now, the third one is a nurture component. So if you see the nurture components, now this will help you identify the star app and flow makers, see what connectors are doing and where are they based out of, which department, which city, country, and how are they adopting the power platform in terms of usages. So I'll go through the report one by one. First report on the left-hand side. So there are more than 24 reports, okay? So if you see the first report, it, is, it talks about overview of power apps. How many apps exist within your system? How many app makers? How many apps were created in the last month? What are the different types of app? A Canvas app, model-driven app. Then is there any custom page? Are there any component libraries? Are there SharePoint-based form? Who are the top 20 app makers within your organization? Who are the top 20 environment? What are the top 20 environments by app count? And app maker cities. So as you see in this, uh, report uh, i can see that uh, the top app maker city is in australia okay now okay coming back to the next overview of power automate again similar to power apps it will list down number of cloud flows number of cloud makers uh, how many created in the last month any desktop flows any cloud flows which are started uh, any of the cloud flow which is suspended uh, top flow maker cities top flow makers and top environment uh, by flow count. Uh, the third one is about Power Virtual Agent. Is there any bots and the bots are published and how many bot makers exist and which environment hosts those bots. So it will give you those information. Coming back to environments, it will talk about uh, how many environments exist within your tenant, how many environment makers, are there any managed environments, or uh, are there any teams environment? Are there any developer and trial environments? And how many Dataverse instance do you have? Uh, apps and flows per environment. So this will give you a nice bit of information with regards to apps and flows per environment, uh, environment by creator, and environment by environment type. How is the app creation trending? This will be plotted in a graph. Coming back to makers, here you will see uh, the makers within your organization. Now, how many app makers exist? How many cloud flow makers exist? How many desktop flow makers exist? How many chatbot makers exist? Who are the top 10 makers within your organization? And uh, what are the top 10 departments which have been using those resources? Again, top 10 cities. So you can see Queensland and Victoria over here. Uh, environment capacity. Now here, uh, this uh, screen will show you how many environments do I have what are the consumption, what are the DB consumption, what are the file consumption, and how it is all uh, uh, used within your organization, like uh, what are the capacity type for an environment and what are the consumptions happening, okay? And if you want to see further details, you can click on this, it will take you to the Power Platform Admin Center. Moving on to the next Teams environment, this will give you more information about how many Teams environment exist within your organization, how many makers exist, uh, apps and flows per environment, how the environment is create, created based on the trend. So in August, I can see there's one environment which being provisioned. Uh, and uh, if there are any app, it will list down those app. apps. 
Now, if you see in apps, it will show you the overall apps within your organization, number of apps, number of app makers, uh, number of uh, canvas apps, uh, and this is specifically to power apps, okay? Now, app creation trend, apps per environment, connectors used within the app, and makers over a period of time. Cloud flows. This will show you the number of flows within your organization uh, and uh, uh, how many flows per environment exist, what are the connectors used in the flow, what are the makers over time. Custom connectors, if there are any custom connectors used within an organization, it will list down over here. As I don't have anything, it is not showing me a uh, record. Uh, from a desktop flow perspective, uh, how many desktop flows are created, how many makers exist, uh, what are the flow creation trend when it was last created. So those information will be surfaced out. Coming back to bots, it will list down the power virtual agent bots if there are any within your organization. AI builder models. If there are any AI builder models within your organization, it will list down the details, it will list down the model number and the makers. Uh, also, it lists down which environment has those information. Coming back to power pages. Now, this is specific to all your sandbox and production uh, environment only. It won't list down anything which is in the dev environment. So make sure that uh, uh, if your report doesn't show up that, don't worry. Uh, it's mainly about production and the sandbox. It will list down uh, how many sites exist within your organization, how many makers, and what is the status of the website. From a solution perspective, it will list down how many solutions exist within your organization and what are the solution creation trend, how it is trending, are the developers using it fully or not. Business process flow, again, similarly, how many flows exist, who created, what, how many makers, uh, and then it will list down some information about your tenant. App deep dive. Now, this uh, uh, help you uh, in uh, seeing the information with regards to app within your organization, how many apps are shared with how many users and what are the, and when it was last launched. And from an archive scope perspective, it will list down whether the app is archived or not. And if it is uh, archived or marked for archival, then you need to take some actions with regards to that. Same goes with flow deep dive. It will list down uh, how many flows exist and uh, how do we, uh, what are the flow makers, what are the archive score, uh, now, this archive score gets uh, appended every time uh, with some value so that if your flow is not being used for a long time, then the value gets increased and then eventually your flow may go into an auto archival process. So you need to take care of that. Connector deep dive again, uh, how many connectors are used within your organization and uh, uh, which connectors are used by which apps and flows. So the pink one represent the apps and blue represent the flows. Uh, how many premium and standard connectors exist within your flow. So it will list down those information. App usage, uh, it will list down how many apps are being used within your organization and uh, what are the app details, uh, how many unique users it has been shared with, which environment does it exist on, app launches per app, app launches per app maker, and classification based on the connectors used within your app. SharePoint form apps. I don't have any SharePoint form apps within my organization and hence it is showing me blank. Desktop flow usage. Now, when a desktop flow is created, what is the state of it? Whether it is succeeded or is failed within that particular time duration and what are the details of the desktop flow? As I'm not much using this environment for desktop flows, it is not showing me a record, much record. It's only showing two records. From an adoption perspective, now this is an important uh, metric which will show you uh, how many apps exist how many premium app exist how many makers exist and out of that makers how many are canvas app model driven app and premium app makers uh, canvas apps launch sessions over the time power apps makers over the time so this will give you a nice trend whether uh, uh, you have uh, increased your owner uh, of app or not uh, if you have launched the app or not uh, and it will give you a nice bit of stats over a period of time. So this will help you in the adoption process. Similarly, from a power platform perspective, it will show you how the power apps is growing within your organization, how the cloud flow is growing within your organization, what is the maker count uh, within your organization, whether it is increasing or decreasing. As I see in my environment, maker count is decreasing uh, year on year growth for uh, power app is 500% and environment is also growing to a significant uh, number from 5 to say 11.
Okay, so that's it, folks. This is all about a uh, production dashboard within the Center of Excellence Strata Kit. Make use of it. Try to see if all the records are getting populated or not. If you see any visuals missing uh, uh, the data, then uh, maybe it might be a configuration related issue. So uh, please fix that within your backend environment and uh, get those rich visual insight uh, for your tenant. Thanks for watching.